Hello, baby. Good morning. So shall we go into the jungle? The mini jungle. Come on then, let's go. Good morning everyone. Expert Ian. In the mini jungle in the Philippines. <laughs> So it's 5.30, Friday morning, so it's uh, almost weekend again. Maybe you can't see me so well, it's still too dark. But uh, no need for you to uh, see me. You just listen to the sounds. This is what I'll be talking about. Sounds. And the surroundings. So the uh, Bibi is here somewhere. Bibi. trying to play with her mother but the mother's not so keen this morning so those of you who watched my video yesterday if you didn't then please go back I came here I can see it it's funny it's getting light already it's uh, funny how you I, I started two hours later yesterday so you get different, complete sound. It's as if you're in a different place. If you compare like this time to 7.30. So as we get towards six o'clock, like now, Odd uh, tricycle. It's the, uh, the children that go to the school early. So it sounds. Uh, I originally come from a very small town in the UK. Rugby. Central Central England, and uh, we used to live up on a council estate. Yes, I'm one of the council boys. <laughs> council, estate. so very quiet at night or early morning. Uh, I mentioned in one of my videos, or a few actually, I used to do a paper round. I was a paper delivery boy. So. You always get up at 4, 4.30, go to the shop, sort out my the newspapers. So, the only sound that I used to hear then was the milkman in his electric uh, car. And the chinking of the, the bottles. And when I moved to Germany, that was um, also a very small town. And again, at night time you hear nothing, and early in the morning. So, we used to start work at 6 o'clock in the morning, so we're up at 5, you hear nothing, no sounds, nothing. And then when I went to, to China, 
the first time. So I lived um, directly in, in the town itself. That's up to 23 million people lived in Shanghai. And uh, the, f the first place my company put me in was um, it's like a condo. Uh, I don't think they knew, but it was it was next to a bus station. <laughs> so the last buses come in, I think, around midnight. So you had all these buses going, and, and there was a gasoline station right at. The, so the buses would come in, fill up, park up, and three o'clock in the morning they'd start rolling out again. So uh, that gave me my two hours sleep. Oh, you can slowly see me now. <laughs> Good morning. And um, the next time I, I went back to Shanghai, I was in a hotel um, at a place called Plaza 66, which is uh, situated on the famous Nanjing Road in Shanghai. Are you... What are you moaning at? Mummy can't hear. And you would hear not all night, even though the, the hotel's got the double glazing. So you'd open the window, <laughs> close it, you could but you could still still hear the noise. Oh, that was all night. Oh no, it was I forgot to say. Um that first place I was at next to the bus station. You could hear during the night. It's click, 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 click. And uh, I said to the boss, the general manager at the time, I, said, I hear these noises like footsteps. The wall behind me. He says, oh yeah, that's, that's the stairs. And that's the, the women, the massage women. When they finished doing whatever they're doing, if you get what I mean, that's the the high heels on the, on the steps. So chick 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 chick. <laughs> sounds again. You have to do everything. Sounds. So yeah, in so the Nanjing Road, um, the Golden Dragon was the hotel. Very nice hotel. And. Uh, all these sounds also buses and then uh, what they do in Shanghai at night is um, they get these vehicles that clean the road not just the road sweepers but they have a big thing on the front sprays water so and you you get them you can hear them she's not happy this morning Bibi Bibi wants to play but her mother doesn't this morning so the company I work for the uh, so our company was over one hour away so we were on the even though the town I used to live in near Qingpu was um, one hour away over one hour away so the disadvantage of that was if something happened in the night on a machine or something, you know, they I, I, I couldn't actually go in, or if I did go in, I'd have to then stop there because it would be much use me travelling back into into the town. Oh dear. See, it's starting to get light. More noises. So, uh, after what, I, I actually then moved in, into the town where the company was. Makes sense, right? And uh, also, it's a very small town, but in the town, uh, 1.5 million people lived there. And it's, it's I don't know, it's like you open the window, it's just noise. So many different noises. And the one thing that you, I didn't notice it at first, until, they're all at it now, until one day 
I'm sitting on the toilet. I'm sitting on the toilet. And then all you is horns, buses, cars. And another noise you hear in, in China a lot is these uh, alarms from the electric scooters. Because they're all parked up, and if the wind just blows it a little bit, it sets all these alarms off. Or my wife, she goes around hitting the those cases on the back, and we set all these alarms off. But anyway, I was. I was sitting on the toilet and then uh, you can hear these so I thought I'll just just for I just time them so I've got my as one that you have your cell phone when you go to the toilet right right <laughs> got my cell phone and then uh, timer so beep beep two three four five six beep beep two Three, four, five, six, beep beep. So I kid you not, every seven seconds was some kind of horn, someone beeping. And that was, it's all day. I didn't actually uh, figure it until, that's it, until I, I'm sitting there and you just, all these horns. <laughs> so, the, uh, also you, you've got the karaoke, the big bars, and, and that they were just around the corner from where we used to live. And, so, and in the night time in China, the road construction, they do that at night. So you're trying to get your, your sleep and uh, they get out the big lights and all the big things. They, they rip all the old tarmac off, all the concrete that was there. Da, 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 da. They're there with like thousands of workers. Not like in Europe or anywhere else. <laughs> there was some that... You have the road, you know, you know you know the road as it is. You go to bed. You get up in the morning, early in the morning to go to work. The road is completely new. With markings. It's, it's, <laughs> it's as if it's a different... You woke up in a different place. Amazing. They do all that in one night. And uh, should I just turn this down for you a little bit? It's not going down. No, I want to. Uh, yeah, there we go. I don't want it too bright. Yesterday I didn't have that on, and it was the glare and the contrast was. So you have all these noises. And then uh, when I went back to Europe on business trip or to um, visit my, my kids, no noises. And it was weird. Because I've been in China for, for uh, like eight years before I went back to Europe. So you're, you, you're laying there and going, couldn't sleep because it was too quiet <laughs> so you had to actually the, you know you're lying there and you're, oh, maybe maybe i can just hear the noise of the central heating you know just maybe sometimes a look from from the body huh? i think i think i just heard something it was funny and then uh I don't know why I get all these, all these. I went to Mexico a few times, business trip. Um, we also have a company there in a town called Queretaro. Queretaro. Two and a half hours um, west of Mexico City. And the hotel where I stopped, Mercury Inn, very nice hotel. I stopped there uh, many times. It's on one of the highways. And if you guys have never been to Mexico, well, you guys that have been, you 
you'll know what I mean. Or even Ameri or you Americans. They have big trucks with the long noses. Big, but, and then like uh, two, two, um, what do you think? What do you call them? I think we call them hangers. Two uh, on the back, or even three sometimes. So there's a slight hill, and you got these trucks. All night. <laughs> at first, when you if you've never seen it, you go, "Wow, look at these trucks! Big black smoke pouring out there. It's awesome." Yeah. All these things you uh, you remember. So. What I'm, what I'm getting at is like city life where you, you get all you, even in Manila I've never actually well, yeah, yeah, I have stayed in Manila a couple of times let me uh, just yeah don't want to get too bright not too dark the city life compared to where I live here You, yeah, look at them. That's the, the the alpha male. The dogs are waiting for me on the road. So you in in the town you got your jeepneys and then the taxis and then uh, especially Manila you have also the airport. You got the planes. Depending on what part of. Uh, what part of Manila you're in, you've got the planes flying over. So there's the first car driving by. So it should be getting on nearly six. So we can hear now people also talking. See, everything's starting to come alive. And I got a tricycle and uh, I'm starting <laughs> six o'clock it's getting warm already so I think that's my bit on uh, noises in your surrounding area you should sit there sometimes and uh, take it in sometimes you hear things that you never even heard of before because you don't you don't take it in all the different noises of tricycles some reason I'm not bothered <laughs> listen everybody's different just before I close it's like listening to music Everybody listens to a piece of music their, well, differently, their way. If you put headphones on, I used to listen oh, a long time ago to Jean-Michel Jarre, the electronic music, and uh, things like that. If you put a headphones on and you listen to, listen to the, the background music, or is, Little sounds that they're in it makes it makes the it's not a song it makes the music sound completely different when you actually go in into the music itself and you're listening to all these all these other sounds it's like a song you everybody concentrates on the words once you know the words listen like my favorite band is Depeche Mode. And they're all a little bit electronic and stuff as well. If you, so you learn the words, so you know them, then you concentrate on the music. And I, again, the music that's in, in it, not, not in the front, the, at the back. And sometimes it makes the song completely different. It gives you a different meaning. Try it. <laughs> See, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking rubbish now. <laughs> it's too early in the morning for that. <laughs>
So guys, on that note, <laughs> um, I'll leave it at that and uh, get back to the house. I've already opened the house up as usual. And uh, stick the water on for a cup of coffee. Oh, maybe even a cup of tea today. And uh, wait for my wife to get up. So today, I'm going to cut my hair. Yes, I do have hair. It's just you can't see it. Look, see, there you go. You can't see it much. So um, I posted a short video yesterday. No one's watched it. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. My uh, my super duper hair trimmer because I cut it myself. Maybe I can tell you why another time. I'm a bit I'm a bit fussy with people touching me, and me touching other people. It's just so I prefer to cut my own hair or get my wife my wife to do it. Hello, cat. You're a bit late now. I'm going. So I'll uh, I'll close now. Get back to the house and uh, catch you on my next video. And if you have any comments at all about regarding noises and what, how you feel and where you live, please tell me in the comments. Um, so I don't get many comments. So until then, guys, call your Ian in the mini jungle in the Philippines. Yes. Goodbye. Take care, guys. Have a good day and a good weekend. Catch you later.